make music for a purpose. It's not just background music, or it's not just, you know, fluffy, light stuff. It's not, it's this for, is not elevator satanic music. It's no. ritualistic music. It is music it is that by, by even the act of listening to it, you are participating in a satanic ritual. How does it make you feel? I it's mean, very stirring. It's very emotionally charged. You can't listen to this music and say you don't feel something because you do. I'm sure you would probably feel either hate or fear or rage or something. You're pretty good at marketing yourself. That's well, the that's devil's our place. Job. <laughs> Illusion and showmanship. You mean the devil is alive and well at Madison Avenue? Of course. Advertising I is think the you devil's and I agree with it. The act of manipulating and using the will and using ritual to create change is, by any definition, satanic. And anyone who does that is at least an ipso facto Satanist. They were telling a lot of truth in that. And you see how she's doing right here, the hand symbol? That ain't the hand symbol for rock and roll or I love you. That is the hex. She is casting a hex, casting a curse on the audience. I understand that, Dave. What are you doing? I'm giving a blessing to the, to the audience. I don't think they appreciate it. They were throwing it back. Well, they thought it was a curse. Uh... Would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? The sign it's of the curse? Completely different. How does it go? No, not at you. Not at you people out there in the audience. But this is the difference. Aim it toward Red China, would you? <laughs> this is the sign of the horns. A curse sign. The two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast. You know? That was her father talking. Zena LaVey's father, a Satanist, who many people believe is playing the character of Taylor Swift on the world stage. Other people believe there's some type of vampiric race that lives on forever. And look what her father said. The TV set or satanic family altar has grown more elaborate since the early 50s. From the tiny fuzzy screen to huge entertainment centers covering entire walls with several TV monitors. What started as an innocent rest from everyday life has become in itself a replacement for real life for millions. A major religion of the masses. This is what Anton LaVey says about TV. He literally called it the satanic family altar. And it is, guys. Here's a tweet where this guy says, Taylor Swift is a Satanist CIA agent named Zena LaVey, which looks kept up over the years due to the adrenal. And I'm not going to say the full word due to censorship. But this Cliff guy, I think he's right on point. And they throw it right in our face in Hollyweird. These people let you know who they are. I mean, they're openly showing us that they're Satanist. Now, they are part of this Saturnalia death cult. That's what people don't realize, that we get the word Satan from Saturn. They're worshiping Saturn. And Taylor Swift's concert here, where she's casting spells on the audience, look what she's on, a black cube. Well, that's their tie to Saturn. The mainstream media tells us there is a hexagonal storm on the North Pole of Saturn. That's the whole mainstream narrative. I believe Saturn's a dimension. It's the dimension of the fallen angels. And all three Abrahamic religions, they've infiltrated it. In Islam, they walk counterclockwise around the Kaaba, the hypercube. In Judaism, they wrap it around the crown chakra. Christianity across an unfolded cube. 9-11, the memorial, is two cubes. You see it in the Freemasonic altars. You see it in Aleister Crowley's The Golden Dawn, his witchcraft coven. They had this same cube symbolism throughout all of it. And you find it all over the world. Just like right here, you see the Pope with his Saturn hat, the cult of Saturn. While conquering Egypt, the Roman leaders also came into contact with the ancient dark religious practices that the Orion group had established there, which had continued underground during the Platonic dynasty. Practices involving the torture and sacrifice of humans, including children. Many Roman leaders were initiated into these groups, and this laid the foundation for the satanic religion that we see practiced all over the earth by the cabal and its associates to this day. In fact, one of the biggest centers of this satanic worship has been, ironically, the Vatican and the Roman Catholic Church. And at the UN in their meditation room, they all also have a giant 
cube, which is all going back to Saturn, putting that energy into Saturn, just like Bank of America, the 311s, which represents the 33 and the cube trapped within the cube. It's all Saturn worship tied to these entities. Particular consciousness stream that is controlling or has its hands on controlling the planet at the moment is vampiric in nature, which is vampiric. It's, it's, it, it's a taking energy. It's not giving energy. It doesn't have a central source where it, it can't self, it cannot self sustain, has to take from others. Um, you know, the vampiric consciousness that is here has created um, religions or sport or um, uh, uh, philosophies or, or any of those it does they don't care particularly which one you follow or which one you attach to it's none of their business which one you do but as long as you attach to one of them mm -hmm. because each one is connected to like they're like it's like a multi-headed or a, maybe an octopus so if there's a central point like that so you see the strands come out but they all lead to the same center point which is a black hole essentially mm -hmm. it's a black hole uh, that is pulling energy from people in any way. And they particularly like, you know, any of the religions because that's, you know, that's, that's precious energy that's given away like that. Even uh, um, a, a lot of the um, big music uh, uh, gatherings that go on are set up ritualistically. So uh, they don't care whether you're cheering or whether you're booing. It doesn't really matter as long as you're doing it strongly. Uh, so so you, like, even Glastonbury is now set up in a specific way where the stage, it's all ritualistically done to pull energy from the people. And then they gather that energy, harvest it, and use it then to manifest the false reality that we're living in. Because they can't create reality. They don't know. They don't. They don't have the create. They don't have the creative spark themselves. Mm -hmm. But they do know how to manipulate the ones that do have it, mm -hmm. and that's essentially what the deal is. They're manipulating this because it's the subconscious that creates the physical mm -hmm. reality, and they've hijacked the subconscious of, of the of the real creators, mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> now we're stuck in this false reality mess. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of complexities that go on exactly how that works, in my opinion. The creation of this reality begins at the young age. So all the textbooks um, and all the history books are, are then written, and, and uh, so that when so that we all collectively believe this particular thing. So then we all, when we all believe it, we all ma ma manifest a reality that's based on these books. Yes. Uh, that's very sneaky in a very clever yeah. way to yeah. do it. Because how do I know? How do we know the textbooks? Are, um, they're not. The, 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 the wars are written by the winners, mm. aren't they? And so the winners write whatever they want to write in there, mm. and then, then we just believe it, we take it on board. So, we, so we, start, we start learning that numbers and letters are, they only give us a very simple version of what numbers and letters are, and there's so much more to what numbers and letters are. Uh, even phonetically, um, uh, how 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 a word sounds, how you say it when you speak, how it sounds to a person is going to affect them. It's not just a word. You know, I think I wrote the other day. You know, and I think you know people know this, but um, you know, you spell a word because it's words spell. are spells. Yes. You say a sentence to somebody. You're you're literally saying a spell. And words are, really, you know, that, that old adage, sticks and stones, and I break my bones, but words and, and names, names will never hurt me, is, is, is not true. Yes. Yeah, because words are very, very powerful. Yeah. I go further and say thought matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally very. matters. Yeah, yeah, well, thought creates matter. I've been telling my soul, working all day Overtime hours for that bullshit pay So I sit out here, watch a light slip away Drag back home, drowning my troubles away It's a damn shame looking what this world's come to For people like me, and people like you Wish I could just wake up, and it not be true But it is